So I recently heard about um, Herkiwall building systems from a developer and I wanted to go out and see what it was for myself. And essentially it is a panelized construction system um, meant for three to five story buildings, could be residential or commercial. Um, it's cheaper than two by fours, it's sustainable, it saves time and money, it's got an R value of between 31 and 36. Um, it is made of steel as well as um, EPS, which is not off-gassing, and then they pour concrete down the middle. Um, it's basically got tongue and groove assembly. Uh, it's water resistant. It's also fireproof and can stand withstand up to 245 mile per hour winds. So it's really, really resilient. Um, it also has less waste. So to use this product, builders would need about seven to nine pounds of concrete versus a traditional 30 pounds of concrete. Um, it's fast, it's easy, it's lightweight, it requires fewer inspections, less skilled labor, um, and it's a zero waste product. So it's really awesome um, and I wanted to see it. So I went ahead and toured the factory and um, you can see over here there are um, holes for the pipes and for the electrical to go in. Each one of these panels is numbered and it's um, cut to size uh, for a specific location and it can go up really, really fast. Um, there is room for water to drain out um, and it's just a really, really interesting product. So um, have a look and I hope you enjoy the tour. This is the three billet cutter, this red machine is the first uh, Herkiewall specific uh, hot wire cutting machine built. Okay. It's built in Kentucky by Gateway. Okay. And uh, that 8700 is an off-the-shelf machine is what we started with. So uh, this will cut all the long cuts. It'll cut these big billets. They weigh 250 pounds roughly. Okay. Uh, into a minimum of six panels. Wow. So, hey Robert, you want to push one of those studs for me? Uh. Just, just so you can see it. It's one of my favorite things. It's like pop yeah. mobile okay. And that Fab Pro software uh, digitizes all of our manufacturing drives. Holy so all cow. these paper followers, they all go away. Everything's barcoded here. So wow. we can intermingle multiple projects across the, the manufacturing floor. And at the end of the line, they, get, they go on the right now. So this is uh, what gives us our up pitch. It cuts out these, these holes. And then here we come down. That is so cool. Yeah, we'll find one in line. Uh, I'll find one on the floor for you. So from here you can see the start is put some rollers in. Uh -huh. This will all connect over to the two bonding machines. The white machine with the red tower, off the shelf machine. Okay. Uh, process was over 10 minutes a panel. That red machine is the one we saw in the video. Uh, it's now two minutes or less for panel. What's a densifier? What is that doing? <laughs> so it grinds up all the foam and melts it down into hard plastic billets. So those hard plastic billets on that pallet, yeah. that's densified EPS. Uh -huh. We sell it to extruders. They'll throw it in a big hopper extrusion machine, melt it down and make six. So oh. the picture frame, cool. lawn furniture. That's what you were talking yeah. about. See, I'm a visual learner. Now you're taking your waste and you're turning it into new, new products. I love it. That is such a circular uh, business plan. I mean, it really is. That's that's great. The only thing we haven't figured out how to recycle is the polyester film in our lunch ah. So this one has uh, plates that come down and braces that chew it all into the correct location. And yeah. then it cuts the top and bottom beam at the same time. Oh, cool. And, uh, oh, I see it now. It to height. So that little thin wire yeah. heats up to 212 degrees centigrade and it evaporates the foam as it moves through. It blows me away that how light. I mean, everybody's just lifting them up, they're throwing them around. It's not like yeah. they have like big muscles uh, or no. anything, you know? Yeah, you think about, you know, the weight of these frame walls that we stand up. Uh-huh. And, and when we do panels, primarily frames are utilized depending on structural wall pressure. This is so cool. So cool. So we sell a bunch of panel plants in town. When I call them up, they say, hey, thank you for calling so-and-so your interior wall solution. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> so. And we play well with everybody here in the Valley. Well, that's important because it's it a small, small industry. We all know each other. Uh-huh. <laughs> we do. Uh, well, this is awesome.